Hey guys, welcome back to the show. This time we are at Iron Mountain and specifically climbing at Kearney Crag. Uh, it's in the upper peninsula of Michigan and it is, I think, a brand new crag, maybe two years old. The developer on Mountain Project, you know, is really kind of putting the call out for other developers, I think, to come out, you know, and really develop this area. Um, right now, there are five bolted lines. According to uh, the topo on Mountain Project, there's a couple more, but we checked them out, and I assure you, the off width, I could not find any bolts on, and route number five, which I think is called the Bearded Lady, there are no uh, bolts on. There are, however, chains on that route, so uh, probably worth checking out if you want a top rope. Uh, and speaking of top roping, there are a bunch of top rope routes uh, and top access is really easy. So uh, that's definitely worth checking out. It's a quartzite crag, so uh, mostly white quartzite. I think I saw a little pink mm -hmm. out there. So uh, it is pretty slick, especially when wet and there's a little bit of a, a talus scramble up to it. So be careful there. Um, as far as Camping Beta goes, we didn't check it out, but I saw some signs for Kearney Lake State Park Camping. Something like that. Something, something like that. Um, so, might be some good camping nearby. Probably worth checking out if you want to stay the weekend. We managed to uh, knock out all the sport routes um, in a day. Uh, you probably could too. Um, it's really... It was a 5.5, 5.6... Two five sevens and a five nine, uh, mm -hmm. but the climbing was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you guys think? Highlight of the day? I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, five nine was definitely the highlight. That was a really good route. Right, uh, Snake Charmer. Snake Charmer. Snake Charmer. <laughs> that was an amazing route. I thought it was really good. Um, you know, there's also a few trad routes that have been identified up here. Um, I don't know if they'll stay trad routes. Uh, some of them look to be kind of difficult. I imagine they may just develop this into a sport crag. I hope they do. I think it would make a, a really good sport crag. There's definitely uh, some room for additional harder routes. Uh, so, you know, over the next few years, if this gets popular, you know, maybe it'll grow. Um, and, and I think it could be a really great uh, route. Uh, in terms of getting here, so we had a little trouble finding the crag. <laughs> um, so coming down Kearney Road, uh, you're going to go over a small uh, concrete bridge, then you're going to come up on a culvert. Now the culvert is marked with uh, yellow and black square signs. Uh, immediately after that there's a left turn, which is where we are. You park probably two cars here, uh, walk back just past the culvert, maybe 10 feet to the right. You're going to see a red tag blaze the trail out to the climb. Just follow the trail up the talus and that'll bring you to the first three climbs you'll see are bang, pow, and boom. Uh, which were fun warm-up climbs. Now, mm -hmm. Again, all these climbs are really low grade so I think it's a pretty good place for you know, a beginning leader to get some mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the holds mm -hmm. are good, the routes are easy. Um, well, you led four routes today, mm -hmm. right? beginning leader <laughs> not too scary uh, not too bad not too it bad it was pretty good it was good for starting out and practicing all right awesome uh so um that's it we have a beer review for you now this is from pollyanna brewing uh out of lamont illinois again one of my favorite breweries they make so many good ones it is summerly uh wheat ale with raspberries added um, it's 4.8% ABV. It says here, a beer with hundreds and hundreds of pounds of fresh raspberries can only be considered the perfect beer for summer, right? Right. Beckoning for friends, beer gardens and sunshine, summerly, will aid in the process of forgetting winter because winter is the absolute worst <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> Brewed with three different kinds of wheat and two row malt from the good old US of A, this wheat ale will refresh even the thirstiest of palates. So. Pairs well with friends. There is <laughs> your can. Yeah, it does say pairs well with friends. Well, let's give it a try here. Crack that open. Cheers. Cheers. Just fizzing up, man. A little bit. Mm. 
heavy, heavy on like the that. raspberry. Mm, I like this. You can get the wheat, but it's not overly powering wheat. I don't know that I would drink more than one, but it's not bad. Yeah. You know, ice bad. cold on a hot summer day. It'd it's pretty be, light. Yeah, it'd be pretty good, for sure. Yeah. Second thoughts? I like it. It is strong on the raspberry. But I, I think like that, the raspberry. I think, I think that balances the wheat. That makes the wheat yeah. not taste as, as there. You know? Yeah. So good choice. All right, check it out. Check out the climbing, and please subscribe. See you guys next time.